hello how are you i hope you're well um i thought i'd do another little craft with me so i've just finished filming these little tassel ribbon charms which i will have linked down below those are using the like ribbon ends i'm trying to find the box here it is from endicore and i thought i'd also play with today these safety pins from endicore as well i will link them down below for you i have seen cheryl making some beautiful embellishments with these and i love that this pack came with such a variety of colors i think i'm going to stick on the theme of halloween <laughs> because that's what i was working on for the little tassels so i'm looking for an orange one um, I haven't made these before, so I have got a bunch of wire wrapped beads, I have got some jump rings, um, what else have we got? These beads are also from Endicore, some little seed beads, these ones I don't think I'll use on here, these little bats are cute, we can maybe use some of those, but I thought yeah, it might be fun to just give this a go and do it with you guys here, so let's go for those ones picked out six i don't think these pins are as big as the ones that cheryl was using so i'm wondering if i'm going to need to sort of downscale it a bit i also have these little printable charms that i'm thinking might look cute if I put them on a little jump ring, um, what one shall we do? Whoop, dropping things all over the place. Let's try one of these little skeletons. I haven't used any of the ghosts yet, so I probably should. And we'll use a little pumpkin banner. And I think, I mean, you could slide those on so upside down as they are, but it would hang sort of sideways. So I think the way that I would add those is to put them onto a jump ring first. Then you could also add beads. Let me grab one of these that sort of dangle down. Or we could have ones that are just sort of slid on. You could do this with sequins as well, actually. So I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> Grabbing a few random beads. I'm wondering if they're going to be too thick for these seed beads. Let me have a look. Oh, it might not. They might work quite nicely. Ooh. Okay, so I like the little seed beads. In fact, this would be cute to sort of add a bunch of these then something in the center and then add a bunch more on the other side um what could i add in the center could go for something really simple like a heartbeat although i think there's too many little ones right there's four so let's add that one and four more seed beads Ooh, throwing it everywhere <laughs> There's one, there's the little one, disappeared, there he is. Two, two more. It's just sort of playing with it to find out how many fit nicely. Ah, right, okay. Dropped it everywhere. Right, back on track. <laughs> Gathered all of the beads. Who is crafting Halloween at the moment? I was going to skip it and go straight to Christmas, but I've just been having so much fun with all of the Halloweeny colours that I decided I may as well do some Halloweeny crafting. Okay, so that's cute with the four little seed beads each side and the heart. Oh, I probably could have added a few more of the little seed beads, but that's quite a like a plainish one. Um, let's add, let's find a jump ring. Here's 
here we go. So we're gonna need three, aren't we? One, two, three. I'll leave a couple more out just in case. And my pliers. I think you would need to add jump rings to all of the charms, otherwise they're gonna hang the wrong way. Okay. Let's add it to all three of the little shrinky dink charms. These little Halloween ones I have made using the Hey Pumpkin Digitals. Um, and I printed them onto shrink plastic and then just used my heat gun to shrink them down and they look so cute. Cheryl actually helped me out with that as well. She told me I could use the heat gun rather than the oven. Rather, rather than the oven, <laughs> sorry. All right, there we go. Now they're gonna hang nicer. Um, let's have, what do we want this one to go from? Maybe the lilac one, it's not on there. Let's have, also have a purple heart on that one. I'm trying to work out what colors to put where. This one I'm thinking, we'll have these two. I'm wondering whether to add some little, I'm wet. In fact, I have got plenty of sequins around that we could play with. I might grab some of those in a second. And I also have like the flat beads. I don't know what they're called. There is a, a name for them. But I can't think of it. Um, these look like they would go over the top of those. Like the charms would sit on top of these little seed beads. Like that. And let's add a couple more of these. Although, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Hmm. That's not my favourite. This sequin mix is from Rachel Talman Co. And I literally got it, um, well, I opened it this morning. I got it a few days ago. But I opened it this morning. And I think these colours work really well for Halloween-y things. So this is the Nemo sequin mix. And I'm going to open that up and give it a go for these. Whoop. Because... Oh, and also I grabbed these out. Sorry, should have mentioned that. I have got these in a darker colour. Like this is like the pastel version. I don't know where the darker colour is. I don't like this one. <laughs> I have decided maybe bigger beads might be what's needed here. Definitely like that. I definitely like that. Um, let's pour some of these out. Let's see. So there's an orange bead. I've got plenty of orange beads actually. We could just have orangey ones. Maybe black beads in between. Let's have a play with some of these and some of the sequins as well. Oop. Add a little orange one. I 
I like things to be even. It's really bothering me that that isn't. <laughs> um, right, no. So we know that three beads fit along with my little, this little guy. Um, maybe if I have orange sequins. I often make things and then take them apart. Like so. Then add a little pumpkin. Now let's see if I can close that without throwing it everywhere. Ha ha! Okay, that's cute. So it's got the little pumpkin dangle and the sequins in between the beads. I like that one. Probably could have added that one, but nope. I think I might even like that more with, what's the word? Um, These little beads in between as well. I think that would look cute. Let's try that on. Let's do this one. I think I want black beads again. One, we need three, don't we? Yeah, I thought a lot of this like brown colour, really dark brown. I don't think you can tell the difference that well. Might use some of those up. <laughs> Pearls. Got a lot of pearls as well. Let's do pearls with the little skeleton. And let's just have random sequins from this mix because I know they all match. Oop. This one. Add a little guy. Oh, I wanted to add um, seed beads, didn't I? Or maybe, yeah, let's add seed beads. Let's have, what colour should we go for? What do we think? I'm thinking this gold colour, maybe. And then our sequin. Whoop. Like this. We'll have the white. Ah, is that gonna do up? Uh, or just literally just no <laughs> nope I don't like that oh and now I'm not going to be able to get it undone am I because I made it do up ah maybe we skip the sequins just do these and the little beads although I wonder if they are going to disappear inside the pearls no they don't that's handy right so I stopped filming to mess about with this. <laughs> um, I couldn't get the charm to look right on here. So I've actually added it onto a little like loop at the end. Let me show you. So you've got the little pearls, the little seed beads in between. And then I've just added the charm as like an extra. I think it would actually be really cool to add like a chain from here. And have like multiple charms on it. That would look really cool. But I thought that was a good option. For the next one, I think I'm going to do just sequins and seed beads. So, actually, I might need a smaller one at the end. Or should I do a bead first? I'm going to go for gold beads and then just randomly assign a sequin after each bead. I'm trying not to stab myself too many times. Ow. I hate working with pins. <laughs> Absolutely hate it. 
that's on there. Oop. You have to put some of these down. If you have any other ideas for these like things you could add, let me know. I'd be interested to see all of your suggestions. Or hear all of your suggestions, should I say. Indeed. Actually, it takes quite a lot. I'm surprised. And then I'm sort of going up to where the colour runs out because it's a handy guide for me that that's the bit that goes into the end. <laughs> so there's one with seed beads and sequins. I think that looks super cute. In fact, I kind of wish I had this charm to add on there. It's really hard to show you what I mean, but I could have added a charm there. Then again, I could add one on the end. Not this cute little heart. I could definitely add on the end there. I also want to use some of these 2021 charms. Where have they gone? These ones. Definitely want to use some of these up because we're coming to the end of the year and I've got far too many of them left. Let's do one. So I'm thinking these with just like two beads in between. I just need to choose my beads. Maybe that's something sparkly. Sorry about that, I got interrupted and I'm not sure where I was. So I think I was making this guy. For this one, I've just layered, um, not layered, sort of stacked, I guess, one of these little beads and then a dangly thing. So I've got four little beads and three little dangly charms. And I think that looks super cute. Then we've got this one left, haven't we? I think I want to use some of these little like, crystally looking beads. Um, what else could I add on there? Oh, maybe. Oh, what about some charms? One second. So I have got these little pumpkin charms. I've got pink ones here, I've got a bunch of little orange ones and these aren't flat they are like 3D so I think if you hung those on there it wouldn't matter what way they were facing. Same with these cute little globes but they're massive <laughs> so I don't think I'll add those. I am going to grab out a tassel or two though I think. I'm not sure if you can hear my chair creaking, <laughs> excuse that if you can. I think I'm going to be making these for much longer than I planned. I love these little pink pumpkins. How cute is that? And I've got this little um, orange one. I don't know why I forgot that colour for a second. So if I, yeah, if I put that on there, it's going to look quite cute. No matter what way you put it. So I need to grab another pin, don't I? What have we got in here? So, oh, I have got these sparkly beads. I don't know if they're very Halloween-y, though. What else have we got? Try some of the gold ones, couldn't we? That I showed you earlier. I'm excited to make some Christmas ones of these. I might give that a go after this. Um, what about if I had a gold one in the centre? Do you know what? I kind of like the black one on there, and then had some of these and put orange in between them. Um, and then we want gold. I think 
maybe the gold does go on here. So if I do one seed bead, random sequin, how many did we do last time? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So let's do six maybe. So do three, do the bead in the centre and then um, three on the other side. Sorry, <laughs> my brain wasn't working. Let's close that up. There you go. Okay, that's super cute. Especially if we added something on this little, maybe one of the little 2021 gems. That's sweet. I like that a lot. Right, so as you can see, we've played with all different kinds of ways to do this. Um, and I love loads of them. So I'll just show you the ones that we finished. So I would add a little charm on there. That one's very simple with just the beads. This is one of my favorites, I think, the pearls of the skeleton. Or maybe this sequin one with a little dangle over here. I really love all of those. So I hope you have had fun crafting with me. If you give these a go, make sure to show me your versions or let me know in the comments what you found looks great on these because I'm sure I'll be making a bunch more. As I said, I will have Endercore linked in the description so you can grab all of the bits that I've got here. Um, and I will link the printable stuff to make these as well and any other links that you need, let me know and I'll grab them for you. And I'll be back to craft again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.